First of all, how much are you looking forward to this? I mean, this is your, your first tournament with Finland. It's the first time Finland have been to a major tournament like the Euros. Yeah, it's a very exciting challenge for the team and for myself as well. So, yeah, we're all looking forward to it very much. I remember when Iceland were in the Euros four years ago, five years ago now in France, and, you know, everybody was neutral, like supported them, wanted them to do well. Do you think Finland will benefit from that? Yeah, I think so. But the main thing is that the team just believe in themselves. And we've done that in the last few years. We've taken a massive step in the direction we're going. And yeah, it's been showing that we got up to the first major tournament with Finland. In terms of that, I mean, when you look at the teams you're going to be playing, Denmark, Russia, Belgium, the number one team in the world. Um, was that a group when it was drawn out you were happy with? Uh, honestly, I think... Uh, yeah, it's tough teams, but you've seen us beat France, you've seen us go to Ukraine and get a draw and stuff like this. So the team, there's a winning culture of the team and there's anything can happen. So I believe in the team. Well, well, tell us about the team, because I mean, we'll know about you from here at Brentford. We'll know about Pukki from, yeah. from Norwich, but maybe the rest of the team might be a little bit of a surprise. Who should we be looking out for? Obviously, us two, us two is the main two guys, but uh, there's so many team players like... Robin Lodd from MLS, he's a very good player. Then there is a centre-backs from Sweden, he's a very good player. The keeper, obviously, he plays for Bayern Leverkusen. Radetzky, he's an unbelievable keeper. In my, in my, in my eyes, he's the, probably the best keeper I've seen play. Like in training, you can see some of the saves he makes, even in games, and you're like, wow. Yeah, so I'll be, probably look out for him. It's a shame that, in, in a way, the build-up hasn't been more normal, because then you'd probably anticipate how many how the fans are feeling about it back in Finland but give us a sense of, of how excited they are yeah it's just been uh, it's been one hell of a ride since uh, it started but I think um, like it's just pride from talking to other people who are involved in us and then just seeing other people when we have like camps in Finland and when they see us they just come in and they're so like saying so proud of us and just go out there and believe in how you've done now you've got the odd Danish player or Ted at Brentford, so uh, has there been lots of banter since the since you were paired with them in the, in this group? I mean, have the, have the likes of Christian Norgard and Dalsgaard been sort of ribbing you a little bit? No, no. They uh, they said that they know we're a good team and it's going to be a good game, so they know not, not to underestimate us. I mean, is, is that the pride of Scandinavia, that game there and then between Denmark <laughs> and Finland? Yeah, a little bit. We'll, <laughs> it'll be whoever wins that is going to have the bragging rights at Brentford. And in, in terms of the game against Belgium, I mean, they are the number one in the world. They'll be among the favourites like England to actually go and win the tournament. Um, what, what are you hoping to get out of that game? Uh, obviously, it's going to be a difficult game, but every game is different. And uh, we've shown, like, we played against France and we probably not had the ball, but we can strike on the counters and we can be defensively solid. So I think we've got the keys to hurt them as well as they do. So it will be a tough game. And I guess, using the Iceland analogy again, much like the Euros, they then went on to qualify for the World Cup, you'll want to do the same. You, you won't want this to be Finland's one major tournament and then you're not seen again. You're going to want this to be a, a stepping stone to this being a regular thing? Yeah, exactly. Like This is just uh, to show what we've been building in the last few years to have this, and this is just the start. I, like That's the, what the team and the, the staff were built, so that's what, how we feel and like how we started the World Cup qualifiers in the last international, which was brilliant. So I think we just need to keep going. And what did it mean to you to score a goal in the Euros? Because in a major tournament to get a goal. Any goal is special, but I think that would be even more special to scoring for your country.